Below the title bar is an area known as the ribbon. This is where all the command icons live. You can see that the ribbon is divided into a number of panels. For example, we have a draw panel, a modify panel, layers panel, and so on. And each panel includes the icons for tools in that particular category. Above the panels on the ribbon are the tabs. You'll notice that currently we're looking at the Home tab, but there are a number of others Insert, Annotate, Parametric, and so on. If I click on the View tab, you'll notice that the panels change to show tools which relate to viewing options. Clicking back on the Home tab takes us to our default panels, and these are the tools which we would use most frequently. Below the ribbon is the AutoCAD drawing area, and this is the area where you will create drawings or view drawings. If I use the application menu to open a drawing, you'll see that the drawing fills the drawing window here. Notice that the drawing window also has three icons in the top right-hand corner, and they fulfill the same uh, function as those on the application window. So we can minimize a drawing, we can restore down a drawing, or we can close a drawing. In the bottom left-hand corner of the drawing area, is the UCS icon. You can see it as a double-headed arrow with an X and a Y. Its purpose is to remind us of the direction and position of the X-axis and the Y-axis. If we were looking at, three in, at a drawing in 3D, we'd also see a Z-axis. Below the drawing area are the Model and Layout tabs, and they allow us to view our drawing either in Model Space or in a Paper Space layout. For example, if I open the drawing we looked at a few moments ago, what we see is the drawing in Model Space. But if I want to plot the drawing, I can click on the Layout tab to see that drawing on a sheet of paper and displayed within what's called a viewport.